Good morning. I have some encouragement for you this morning. I have some encouragement for me this morning. Just a little tidbit to stir your curiosity, to stir your faith and tenacity, and um, to stir your hunger <laughs> to know God more. This God who chose to become human like one of us human born way lowlier than we were born most of us have the privilege of being born in a hospital or the privilege of parents who can choose to birth us at home <laughs> in a birthing pool with a midwife God became a man, chose to be born. I know it's not Christmas. In a stable. He was laid in a feed trough. He's more human <laughs> in his Emmanuel manifestation, in his earth visitation, than you or I. I mean, come on, how many of us in America today can say I'm that human <laughs> I'm I'm that humble I was born in a barn <laughs> you know I can't <laughs> I'm a farm girl from way back we we always um, knew what it was like to have hay in the cuff of our pants and um, to uh, smell <laughs> the manure coming from the barn humble circumstances yeah but i wasn't born there i wasn't born in a barn i was born in a nice warm hospital sidebar we celebrated this past weekend welcoming my first grandchild and and no he or she was not born um he or she is still safely in mama's tummy being knit together by god and I'm overwhelmed by the God humanity, by the eternity of us all. I'm overwhelmed by the beauty of creation, the beauty of, of a child born to us. Jesus was born to us, for us. He didn't come to be served but he came to serve. And so often I think that I should be served. <laughs> Somebody should do something for me. <laughs> but God, <laughs> the God who Psalm 50 talks about like this, the God of gods, the mighty Lord himself has spoken. He shouts over all the people of the earth in every brilliant sunrise and every beautiful sunset saying, listen to me. God's glory light shines with the radiance of perfect beauty, with the rumble of thunder he approaches. He will not be silent, for he comes with an ear-splitting sound. All around him are furious flames of fire, and preceding him is the dazzling blaze of glory. That God, that God, so that he could reach us, so that we could hear him, so that we could understand him, that God came very near with a very common name of that day, Jesus. And a young mom <laughs> who could have been killed by her family for being found pregnant 
before she was married. God chose that tummy as a home <laughs> and was born so humbly in a stable in order that we might know him, Emmanuel, God with us. So this week, you guys, this week, remember, God, great and powerful, ear-splitting, big bang, creator, God, he chose to come near to us so that we could know him and that we could come near to him. He loves you more than majesty, royalty, untouchability. He loves you and me so much that he came from such glory and grandeur, such godness. He is very God. And he came to live in an earth house. And each one of us hold that eternity in our spirits because we are his our little baby that's coming into this world they are god carrier they are eternity in a small little earth package god left heaven to come to us emmanuel because he loves us so much so this week Walk in your royal authority. You are a child of God and you have been forever reconnected with him because Jesus came and shed his blood and he didn't stop there. He rose again to give you all things. Live today, live this week out of your royal heritage, your, your royal ancestry. You have the supernatural in you because Jesus is your Lord. Walk in that way today. Do not forget who you are. You are God's child. And it is going to be a great week. <laughs>